Nearly two years ago, Peyton Heiberger lost two of her fingers in an awful car crash outside of Houston, Texas. A devastating discovery for a pre-med student hoping to become a surgeon. They told me I was better off losing my entire hand. Shortly after, a group of Worcester Polytechnic Institute students and their professor started helping to change Peyton's life. There isn't really any partial prosthetics out there right now, um, especially for the thumb and index finger. If you go to market with uh, prosthetics, there is just these cosmetics fingers which are not functional. Combining their skills in robotics, biomedical and mechanical engineering, Mia Bukowicz, Brian Fay, and Andy Strauss are developing a device not to replicate the look of those two fingers, but the functionality. We had to find, figure out a way to control our device um, using ideally just what Peyton's, like basic, just using Peyton's hand. The work is now part of the university's major qualifying project, a team-based professional level experience that could change the future of prosthetics. We can demonstrate that she can control the prosthetic with the small amount of bones she has remaining. Then surgeons would typically try to remove um, fragments of bone like that when they're trying to do amputations, it might start leaving them. This was an incredible opportunity to work on a project like this. Like this is the type of project you never think you're going to be able to work on as an undergrad. The project has been a journey that will be fine tuned and tweaked until it's perfect for Peyton and perhaps for others down the road. The team has been amazing at just helping me get through it and like all of us staying super positive. Right now, the team has applied for a provisional patent on the device to protect the idea. They expect it to be finished in the coming months. I'm Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.